talked a week or two ago about some of the things you had done prior to this lockdown and things that you started doing because of the lockdown. And a lot of that was education. You've had webinars. You've done a lot of things. Talk about some of those things that you've done during this, this lockdown. Well, a number of things we've done. One is we do a weekly uh, webinar, Wednesday Wisdom, we call it, and we cover specific areas that are pre-announced in our system. You know, if you need help with uh, accounts payable, if you need help with bank reconciliation, if you need help with uh, electronic payments, electronic signature capture, with the integration of the estimating system we have, things like that. And we feature something, and, we, and we've really had – very well attended webinars. You know, normally with, before this COVID thing, we'd maybe get 100 people, maybe um, 50, 75 people, depending upon the topic. We've been getting success, consistently over 200 people, uh, very interested people. And a lot of them, you know, you can measure the effectiveness of the webinar by how many people stay on. And we've gotten the highest percentage uh, stick with it that we've ever had. Some of the things we've done, though, is we've developed some safe distance uh, utilities. We've integrated some third-party applications that, uh, that allow you to do different things and we've enhanced our software to uh, communicate with the customer between the retailer hands-free. For example, we just added this thing we called RM Text Assist. Uh, it's basically a two-way texting system that's integrated with our installer installation system in, a, in their accounting department. And basically, when you when an installer schedules a job, he sends a text saying, "Hey, Mr. Smith, I'm Joe Installer. I'm scheduled to be there tomorrow morning at eight o'clock. Anything I need to know? Do you want is that eight o'clock okay? Do you want to cancel? Do you want to reschedule?" And they communicate. And then when he gets when he gets there, he can photograph and uh, take pictures and update the office on mismeasures and additional materials need, needed and things like that. And then at the, in the very end, we can he can create a document that allows the customer to pay online and sign the ticket as he goes, you know, when, when the job's complete. So those things are kind of distancing things and things that help the dealer get the job done and keep operating. And that's been very well. We've added a number of things like that, uh, you know, to make it uh, safe distancing and speed up the process. It seems like no one wants to talk on the phone anymore. They all want to text or email. So we're trying to go along those lines to make those things more interactive. So then across the board, does it look like more and more of your clients are going to be using more and more of these tools uh, yeah. than they would have otherwise? No question about it. The, the key to our software is to be, we think, to be extendable to all the comfortable things that they have. If somebody has a calendar they want to use, we can integrate with that. If they have a uh, a texting system they want to use. We have our own, but we can work with almost any, anything that anybody else likes. We don't want them to be forced into every little utility that we create. So we want to be able to integrate with other providers of similar productivity tools. So, I mean, a lot of this stuff was there all along, just that a lot of people didn't use it. And now very likely they're going to be using it because the lockdown maybe forced them to, or they had nothing else to do, so they, they, they tried it. Is, is that somewhere near the truth? Well, actually, no. They, I think the, the, uh, the lockdown brings to light uh, how you need to do things more efficiently and quicker and cleaner. And we, uh, uh, so we're trying to augment those needs. We're trying to address those needs. How, what can we do to speed up the process? You know, if you think about the typical installation guy, he would come into the shop, Drink some coffee, eat your donuts, grab the stuff randomly from the warehouse, or somebody would load him up. He'd head off, and you you'd, and you wouldn't know really what was going on until the customer called and complained, or he came back with material, or the the, the process was loose. This kind of tightens it up, and I think the customers now are much smarter. They're coming in knowing what they want. You know, they they uh, they've used the internet. They've researched in advance. They don't want any. They want professional operations, so we're trying to do that. We're trying to give the client the tools to make a professional presentation, control his costs, and make the whole experience between his store and the client as memorable and as profitable and productive as possible.